Spirit. In one of the prayers for holy baptism, this prayer starts with the words, Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. In Russian, Велик ты, Господи, дивны дела Твои, никакого слова не будет довольно, чтобы воспеть чудеса Твои. Truly, great is our God, and how wonderful are His works in our lives. Father Viktor Klimenko and I are, were named, were baptized after a great saint who lived in the first centuries of Christianity, a Roman soldier who was stationed in Damascus, who confessed Christ, who gave his life up for Christ, as did the other martyr saints we celebrate today, Saint Ninas, Saint Stephanida. And uh, when this name was chosen for me, Little did I, could I have imagined that many, many years later when I grew up and uh, became a priest, I would become the rector of this parish. This parish is very special in more ways than one. For a long time, we were the Orthodox Church hidden away in a residential corner of Washington, D.C., not on 16th Street, the main drag in Washington, but on 17th Street. Many people don't know that uh, this parish was founded by a righteous man, St. John of Shanghai and San Francisco in 1949. And I am proud and humbled and amazed to announce to you that the first rector of our parish, Father Emmanuel Vysinski, he was here for only six months after the founding of the parish. Father Emmanuel was, from here he was transferred to Trenton, New Jersey for a little while. And then he became the longtime rector of uh, the Holy Protection Parish in uh, Glen Cove, New York. He was there for about 16 years. And after his Matushka passed away, he was tantrid a monk. He became a bishop soon after. He was sent to Brisbane, Australia. And from Brisbane, he went to England for a while as the ruling bishop. And finally, he retired to a small monastery in Texas called Christ of the Hills Monastery. There he eventually passed away and was buried in the grounds of the monastery. The monastery didn't work out. The land was either sold or taken over by the state. I can't give you any details. But Vladika Constantine's body was buried. And uh, a number of people who love Vladika, I remind you, our first rector, decided that uh, he needed to be exhumed and transferred to Holy Trinity Monastery, where most of our other bishops who served in this country or died in this country are buried behind the main cathedral church. And Father Luke, the last time I was in Jordanville for the, our annual pilgrimage to the gravesite of Brother Jose, 
approached me and said, we are, and explained to me the plans that uh, we are going to transfer the remains of Vodika Konstantin to Holy Trinity. Would your parish like to participate in helping us cover the costs? Well, of course, I said uh, we would. And I thought, I believe that this is our responsibility to a certain, a certain extent to take care of the people who served our parish throughout the years. Well, in the meantime, since a month has passed after the pilgrimage, Father Luke went down to Texas. The body was exhumed. And Father Luke sent me five photographs of the grave of Vladika Konstantin. And what is amazing is that his wooden coffin is intact. All his vestments in which he was buried are intact. A gospel book which he holds on his breast has not been destroyed by the time he's been buried for 16 years. And what's most important, his body is incorrupt. Uh, now why do I mention this fact? Well, there are not too many of you here. I'm sort of preaching to the choir right now. But uh, we have a lot to be thankful for in this parish, brothers and sisters. If Rodika is intact, that, that's a definite signal from God that he was a righteous man. So our parish was founded by a righteous man. The first rector was a righteous man. And we, all the priests who followed, uh, have a great ideal to live up to. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. On this day, on uh, November 24th, 1982, uh, this magnificent icon, the Ibran icon of the Mother of God, on Father Victor Klimenka and my name's day, revealed this wonderful miracle of Mer streaming. It continued for 15 years, and the guardian of this miracle was chosen by the Mother of God to be Brother Jose Munoz Cortez. And uh, the first parish he visited after the miracle was announced uh, was our parish. And from that day on, we became close spiritual brothers and sisters to Brother Jose. And since his martyric death in Athens of 1997, our parish has continued to sustain the veneration of Brother Jose. We are doing our best not to allow the world to forget this wonderful miracle and this wonderful martyr who protected the icon. So, in essence, what I'm trying to say is that we are in the middle, in the epicenter of a number of wondrous things that God has planned for us. We should be attentive, we should be cognizant of our role in all of this, but without any pride, but humility, understanding that the more God gives to us, the more He expects back from us. So may God, through the prayers of the holy martyrs, Victor, Sifanida, Minas, and of course, to the prayers of the Holy Mother of God and her 
guardian, her chosen one, Brother Jose, keep and protect and help our parish to flourish so that when the more we receive, the more we can give to others. Amen. Благодатью человеколюбием всегда, ныне, присно, и во веки веков.